know, there's a few different tasks in my shop that I really put off till the last minute. One of those is breaking down plywood. Now it's not usually as bad as I make it out to be in my head. I just don't like dealing with those big, heavy sheets. But luckily, I don't always bring them into my shop to break them down. Usually, I break them down in my driveway and then carry smaller parts like this into the shop. Now, you, of course, have a couple options to break down those big sheets. Most of the time, I end up using a circular saw and some form of fixture that allows me to create a straight cut. At home, in my shop, or in my driveway, rather, I use a straight edge guide most of the time. However, you can buy straight edge guides and you can buy edge guides. When I'm ripping down strips off the edge of a sheet of plywood, the edge guide's the way to go, in my opinion. And you can buy edge guides, commercially made ones, that will fit most saws. But we have this cool little edge guide that's from an old issue of Shop Notes magazine. And you can see it's a piece of half-inch plywood, uh, and it has a slot in it. And in that slot is attached a fence. Now, this fence has two keys that ride uh, along the bottom in some grooves. And that keeps the fence square uh, to the cutout where the saw is going to be. And that keeps the, uh, the fence parallel to the blade. Now on the top side, there's just a knob that connects that. So you can adjust it wherever you want uh, to make a cut. And then to hold your saw, we have these hardboard cleats. And then we have this hardboard cleat on front. What that does is it allows you to clip your saw in place. It slides under there, locks it down. And there's an additional cleat that screws in the backside into a T-nut. And after tightening that down, that saw is locked in place on the guide. Now it's a simple matter of adjusting your fence to where you'd like to cut. About there. Locking the fence in place. Now you're ready to make your cut. And the whole key with this is you want to make sure that the fence on the bottom side stays flat up against the edge of the plywood as you make the cut. So there you go. One thing I like about this is you can flip this around. If you're left-handed, you can flip it so the fence is on the opposite side and the saw is on the other side. Make it a little bit easier for you to use. But overall, it's a great way to use up some small scraps in your shop and end up with a really useful add-on for your circular saw.